Okay folks, today we have a Cabalco uh, seven and a half ton excavator, I think. Uh, very old one, uh, I believe it's a Chinese import. Um, <clears throat> today we're going to fit a new water pump. And we also have um, Um, new, uh, new thermostat, new hoses, uh, which we'll be doing as well. <coughs> so I've gone ahead and taken off, it's a bit hard to see that, uh, but I've gone ahead and taken off a uh, fan um, and a belt. Uh, I'm trying to get to the bottom uh, radiator hose, which is uh, just down there, you can see that one there. Um, I'm going to try and take this cowling off to get to the to the um, clamp. There is a hole down there, a plate you can take off, um, uh, but it's quite difficult to get your arm in there. You need to be a uh, spaghetti man um, uh, to um, to reach it. So we're going to go ahead and take off this just this side. Uh, hopefully we can pull it back enough um, down here just to expose. Um, which would hopefully be right in here uh, where the clamp is uh, because getting to those uh, rear bolts as you can see is going to be quite difficult so um, so yeah we'll see how we go so this has the Isuzu engine uh, 4JB1 uh, I think it's about a 3 litre Pretty common engine, I believe. Um, the construction machinery side. Um, a shop around if you want to get a water pump. Um, this one, as you can see, is quite badly worn. Okay, so you can see just there. Um, obviously, the um, the screw is underneath which makes it a bit of a pain so I'm gonna to have to think of an alternative I think I might just break this one off and uh, uh, get the hose on and just fit a new one on we should you should really fit new clamps anyway with your um, changing hoses uh, you know the clamps have probably been on for quite some time so um, uh, yeah we'll just um, we'll just go ahead and cut that one off um, and fit a new one but this time we'll uh, we'll fit it so the screw is facing up this way uh, make it much easier for next time if anyone wants to undo it uh, to just come in through the top here and undo it because you really can't get in from underneath uh, so just make life a little bit easier okay so managed to move that around into that position so if I get uh, my screwdriver on it, chopping it where it was was just too hard. Uh, I was at full arms uh, length, trying to get down to it. Um, which was quite tough. I thought my little die grinder might have got on it, but uh, apparently my grind, my uh, my bit is blunt. Uh, so that was a no. <clears throat> so yeah, pretty disgusting looking hoses. Managed to get them off. Or at least start. Um, and uh, also found this white substance. Can't really see inside there. Uh, pretty disgusting inside the radiator, nonetheless. Uh, but just around the lip here, um, which usually indicates uh, oil mixing with water. Um, and those little droplets, or those small. Um, uh, quite oily. So I suspect possible blown head gasket uh, on this unit as well. But we'll uh, we'll have to wait and see. I've told the customer, uh, but we've got to go ahead and do this, flush it out, and uh, and see what happens. Um, so we'll go ahead, remove the hoses, uh, remove the thermostat also. Um, We've got a new thermostat, um, 
and then uh, we'll place that. We'll um, replace the. We'll uh, get your water pump in there. Just trying to identify which bolts are which. We've got another section up here which we don't need to take off, I believe. Uh, but I'm not sure. Let's have to have a look. Uh, but uh, yeah, as soon as I gave it a good spin around, so I'm surprised it hasn't been, but it just started leaking again. So just out on its own, underneath through that seal, through the telltale hole. Usually they have a telltale hole underneath them, uh, underneath most water pumps. Um, just underneath, underneath in here. Uh, you can usually see a build up of um, uh, just basically oily looking dirt, um, wet looking dirt. Uh, if it's only mild and then uh, quite often you'll get uh, go to a drip so just keep an eye out for those when you're doing your pre-maintenance checks it's always good um, we'll try and clean this radiator out as well um, sorry for my bad camera angles uh, not too bad looks worse than it actually is but um, we'll still give that a bit of a clean through as well Okay, so we went ahead and um, pulled off the um, thermostat housing and uh, doesn't have a thermostat. So that's interesting. So we'll, uh, we'll find out what's going on there. Um, I haven't known them to be anywhere else uh, apart from under the thermostat housing. Hence why they call it a thermoset housing. But um, yeah, we'll see. Um, we'll see what happens. All right. So there was a couple of different pumps um, when uh, I was looking online. Um, there was ones without these fittings on here, and obviously these ones. So, the one we've got, if you can see in there, uh, is these two hoses here, that one and that one. Um, so obviously ours has got this top one here, so I'm hoping that as this has got a fitting on it, uh, you can see that there, uh, that one there, um, we, that should, we should be able to re replace or remove the one out of this pump. Um, and fit it into the new pump so we'll go ahead and take those off um, and just quickly hold up. so yeah so this is a new thermostat I've removed part of the gasket I was still to clean up a little bit so that should sit perfectly in there which obviously someone's been in here and uh, thought oh thermostat doesn't work we'll just take it out um, consequently uh, you're cooling properties uh, drop dramatically um, You're just running hot water through it constantly all the time um, and uh, It doesn't get a chance for uh, The water to cool uh, and keep it the right temperature um, You know thermostats are in pretty much everything that we that we run and own uh, that has some sort of heating or cooling properties um, to stay at the right temperature, so we need a thermostat to monitor that temperature and make sure that we keep it at the right temperature so most of these um, are about the 70 something mark what's this one uh, 76.5 degrees Celsius so uh, yeah so make sure that um, you know if you are doing work on these that you always fit the thermostat back in because uh, again it's probably why this thing had a it's got a possible blown head gasket uh, mind you apart from the numerous oil leaks as well uh, front engine seal um, rocket cover blah 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 so um, yeah try and try and um, try and fit one back in if you are doing any work to it um, much better much more beneficial for you later on in the long run okay so we've uh, come across a bit of an issue uh, I might have to go and get some more parts 
um, but while trying to remove these two hoses there that one came off okay uh, and that one's on a little fitting there which I can replace which is cool uh, but this one here which goes underneath the thermostat housing uh, didn't want to come off so nicely well actually I wasn't even pulling on it to be honest I was actually pulling on the bottom section uh, down there as you can see I've removed that uh, locking tab uh, for the hose clamp and uh, while sort of um, moving my hand about this one decided to um, to pop off uh, so as you can see pretty rusty Ooh. Um, and uh, basically just due from lack of maintenance um, you know these things uh, just keep going and going we don't like spending too much money on on stuff uh, that's you know for hobby purposes uh, around the yards um, you know acreage whatever hobby farms um, but unfortunately you've got to um, it's just you know a simple flush out and uh, you know a little bit of time and a couple of bucks on some coolant you know do that once a year and uh, you're not going to have any issues you know give the engine a hose down you know spend a spend a Saturday or Sunday just cleaning the engine down um, doesn't have to be a high pressure cleaner but you know just a couple of cans of degreaser um, let it sit for 15 20 minutes and just just hose it off with a garden hose is more than enough as long as you're cleaning off some dirt and you know it's good too for spotting leaks um, you know but we've got we've got this situation here where um, you know it turned out from a couple of hoses uh, and a thermostat which obviously wasn't there um, to you know a water pump um, you know it's, and, it's, and it's also good to keep an eye on things and uh, been able to focus on um, you know understanding your engine and working out looking at things that don't seem right um, and uh, you can call on a few mates or something to, just to give you some information as to hey is this right or should I be changing these out or what you know um, I know everyone doesn't like going to dealers uh, and I'm surely not a dealer um, I'm a sole trader but um, you know this is uh, the consequence of it now it's starting to cost uh, a big bucks um, all at once you know it's not so bad if it's spread over time you know you do a water pump one year and then two years later you you know you do an alternator and you know three years later you've got to put a new exhaust system on it whatever it doesn't matter that in that sense but when all of a sudden you you hit with um, you know a couple of grand all these parts that are just breaking and falling to pieces because basically due to lack of maintenance so um, just yeah just be mindful of that uh, you know even with your vehicles it's the same thing you know do an oil change it, it gets you used to what's going on with the car and just have a look around it and just see if anything's moving and wobbling and you know should that oil be there or you know that you know looks like it's under a bolt why is it loose well tighten it up it's not it's not difficult um, so yeah just a little bit of advice there people you take it or you leave it it's up to you um, you can call us out and we'll be more than happy to come out and help you out so uh, but I'm also happy to give you advice as well so um, you know don't hesitate to ask questions um, you know this it's pretty uh, it's pretty bad this one it's probably the worst one I've seen in a long time so but you know it's out in the elements it's not kept in uh, undercover or you know it's just a hobby farm it's not getting used all the time funny enough machines that are getting used um, more regularly and, and every day um, they actually will tend to last a little bit longer um, as far as uh, obviously you've got to keep up with your maintenance and, and usually they do uh, and that's another good reason why um, but you know things are moving people are looking at it they're greasing it they're checking it uh, it's getting you know looked over um, and uh, you know but these things that sit and, and just sit there and rust away and you know fluids not moving around and that sort of thing uh, can tend to um, corrode a lot quicker than a machine that's actually getting used 
So that's the damage. Uh, you can see that in there. Uh, this is breaking out completely. 